everyone, Atsu here. We have another Genshin Monday, which is totally not late, but at least it's coming out on a Monday, at least in UK time, which is where I live, the United Kingdom, Engengalan, or Great Britannia. But today, we wanted to showcase. That's right, guys. It's been a long time since I showed true appreciation for my boy, Aether. Now, I know I slander Aether all the time and say I wish I picked Lumine, and that still is true because canonically speaking, Lumine as the antagonist or the villain with her cold exterior, and she's just a super badass, and she kicks her Geo ultimate. That looks cooler than Aether just slamming the ground. Aether is still pretty damn Giga Chad. He's still very cool. I'm gonna show you guys today that Aether fully built with talents leveled up, is actually pretty good. So we've got the Primordial J Cutter, so that isn't a little, you know, that part isn't F2P friendly, I know, but it is only R1. A lot of people do have this weapon because it's such a good weapon. And we have the Artifacts Gladiators Finale and Archaic Petra. Constellation is, of course, going to be six. Every single player, even F2P players, can get this character to Constellation six, whether it's Electro, Animo, or Geo. But I've gone for the Geo because I'm Geo Unga Bunga. And the talents we've got are seven, 12, 12. So these are the equivalent of level nines if you didn't have C6. But again, C6 for the main character, the Traveler, is going to be free. But look at the stats we've got here. So we've got 2,215 attack, no elemental mastery. We have 81% crit rate. 207% crit damage, 117.5% energy recharge, and we have got 61.6% geo damage bonus. So that is the ultimate traveler build. I know there's probably travelers better than mine out there, but we are going to go in with no food, and we're going to see what we can do to the Tortellini man right here. So I'm hoping for at least 65,000 damage. Right, we're going to start off with this. Then we're going to do this, and 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 then we're going to do... Boom. 69... Oh my god, was that 69, 420? Was that 69, 420? That's 69, 420! Confirmed. Greatest character of all time. Name one other character that can deal exactly 69,420 damage. It's not a coincidence. It's not a coincidence, guys. Aether confirmed. Greatest character of all time above all meme lords. 69,420. No, that was not planned, guys. I had no idea that was actually going to happen. Wow. To have it exact as well, that's so freaking awesome. Considering there's so many different random numbers that could drop down here, that's really nice. That was just 48k as well without the Bennett O, which is pretty good. That, that's pretty good without the Bennett. Oh, and also without the what you call it the noblesse Set effect and we've got all our ultimates back as well. So let's just finish it here. Oh, never mind. He's dead Wow <laughs> 69 420 I'm so immature to be so entertained and amused by that number But we do get dream solver. We do get the shadow of the warrior not that any of that matters. That is awful That is absolutely awful, but Wow. Wow. And the other thing is, right, guys, is I'm not using... I'm using good artifacts on Aether. Don't get me wrong. But I'm not using the absolute best artifacts that I have on him because the absolute best artifacts I do have for this set, Gladiators and Archaea Petra, is still on Zhongli. So my Zhongli still has the best pieces. The Aether's one are, like, the second best right now. Normally, I have these split on Ning one and Aether. So Aether's crit damage is typically around 190 or maybe 180 so that I can make sure my Ning one also does damage as well. As you guys know, I really love my Geo characters. I love the element to bits. And Geo Unga Bunga is the name of the game. Now, the question is... This is the real question, though, okay? Is this going to work well against the Raiden Shogun. This is an actual boss fight in this game. All other boss fights are a little bit, you know, they're, they're, you know, they're, you know, they're not that serious. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're okay. They're not extreme difficulty. Not that this one is extreme difficulty either, but it is a good difficulty to have. Right, boom, boom, boom. Okay, all 217k. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Oh my God, she dodged. Stop dodging, stop dodging. Stop dodging! Why did you just tank all my hits? How have you just tanked every single one of my- Come back here! Okay, which one? That one. Boom. Boom. Staggered. Staggered. Okay. 
boom, boom, 42k, boom, meteorite, boom, okay, this is not going well, this is not going as intended, boom, another 42k, that's a 420, by the way, 420, you love to see it, no, boom, okay, 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 do I have time to ult here, oh, okay, 66k, okay, okay, one more burst, one more burst before you go god mode, before you go god mode, oof, Ooh, we might, we might be in trouble here now, guys, we might be in a bit of a pickle here now, right, we've got this, we've got to slowly overload this down, which is gonna be okay, you know, I believe, We'll put that down as well. And the nice thing about if the enemy does a lot of damage, for a lot of people don't actually know this, is with Aether's elemental skill, if it explodes right next to the enemy, it will do damage as well. Oh, God. Oh, who am I sacrificing? Oh, goodbye, young Benete! Goodbye, young Benete! Oh, no! Young Benete! Come back alive. It's okay. If the god destroys you, we have a fried egg to bring you back to life. That's what matters the most. Okay. Where is she? Cool. Young Benete. Boom. Uh-oh. Young Benete. Boom. Boom. We're going to put this down as well. Boom. We're going to put this down as well. Boom. I'm going to put this down as well. Boom. And then we're going to put this down as well. Boom. And then boom. And then boom. Young Benete, you're back alive. Welcome back, my king. Welcome back. Zongli with the burst. Boom. And then to finish off, boom. 77k? Wait, how did his damage go up from 69,420? I'm pretty sure I just saw 77,000 damage with Aether's elemental skill there. May maybe it's because I was stand... Ooh, maybe with Child I was too far away. So Zhongli's resistance shred wasn't in play. Alternatively, Raiden Shogun might just have less defense or less resistance. Well, I don't know. Let me know in the comment section, guys. Hey, we got Dream Solvent again. Very nice. That's not very good. We only got two of these, but you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Moving on, let's go over to La Senora. La Senora is a pain in the butt, and she does have materials I do want. All the other characters, though, like, I don't really need any of their materials anymore. I have over 50, but I'm still going to keep going because the weekly boss drops are still worth it. They're always going to be worth it, even at 60 resin for me. If you're someone that refills, if you're on a Welkin Moon or Battle Pass and you don't really have anything else to farm, Weekly bosses is by far one of, if not the best thing you should be farming up. Right, La Senora, haha, <laughs> you're trembling. Oh, she don't know. She don't know. Every week I come back to see her and she don't know she's already dead. What an absolute shame. What an absolute shame. Okay, boom here. Look at, oh man, look at that damage. Oh my goodness, absolutely bullied. Absolutely bullied. Right, we'll do that here. We'll do that here. We'll do that here. We'll put this down as well. And we want to find the butterflies here. Yep. Nice. Okay. Put that down as well. Just put that in for good measure. Put that in as well. Boom. Am I, am I blind? Oh, the butterfly's over there. Pog. And it's finitoed. Okay. I want to kill her before she goes into tornado mode. Tor tornado mode is very, 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 very annoying. I don't think anyone likes tornado mode. So we'll put that down. We'll put that down. We'll put this down. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. I'm a little bit slow here. No! She dodged my burst! What the frick? She dodged my entire burst. Are you for real? That's messed up. That's all kinds of messed up. Oh my, she just dodged my burst again. She just dodged my- Stop moving! I actually hate this boss. It's not even a boss. It's just playing a game of tag. So annoying. So annoying. Oh my goodness. Get your ass back here. Get your ass back here. Get your ass back here. Yeah, that's right. That's right. 
Boom. Die. Kaboom. Okay, that was clean. I never asked for a damn. Shut up! Shut up, La Senora, okay? You're gone! You're gone! You're cancelled! You're done! Raiden Shogun cancelled you once and for all. Dream Solvent again? Or. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're over 400 days in on Genshin Impact. And this is the first time I have ever, I have ever pulled a Gladiator's Goblet with physical damage that has crit rate and crit damage on it. Do not hurt me. Hoyoverse, do not hurt me. Do not hurt me, please. I have spent so much money on this game. Please. Okay, it's still winnable. You know, there are characters that scale with defense and will be physical damage deal. Jin Yan. You know, Jin Yan piece right here. Yeah, Jin Yan piece, guys. I know you don't believe it, but Jin Yan piece. Boom. Okay, okay. 3.5% crit rate roll. That's okay. I'm just going to full send it now. Hoya us. Just one crit damage roll. Um, a big one. 14.8% to like 10.9% crit rate. This is a banging piece. Boom. Okay. Okay. It's still winnable. It, it's gone downhill. I admit it has gone downhill. We can still go for 30 crit value, which is great. Now, for those of you who don't know how crit value works. Crit value, you simply double your crit rate and add it to your crit damage. And why do you double your crit rate? Because a maximum crit rate roll is 3.9%. A maximum crit damage roll is 7.8%. It's literally just doubled. 2.7% is the lowest crit rate roll you can get. 5.4% is the lowest crit damage roll you can get. So crit damage is literally just double crit rate. So to even it out, you double crit rate. And then you have a universal crit value once you add them together. So right now, I've got 14% crit value from the crit rate because you double to 7%. You add that to crit damage, I'm on 28% crit value right now. And I'm going for 30... Because the maximum I can get 7.8 here. 35.8%. 35... Over 35 crit value is really, really, really good. So, Hoyoverse, would you like to not break my heart? Oh, these are all usable. That's not usable. Would you like to not break my heart? Yes, let's go. Okay, you know what? You know what? That's a 3.1% roll, so we got 6.2% from that. So we are on a 34.2% crit value. That is pretty good. Yo, you know what? I'll take that. 34.2% crit value. Not bad at all. It's got a little bit of defense. Would have been nice if it wasn't there. It's got an elemental mastery, which is pretty much useless for physical damage. But not bad at all. I will take that. Okay. Thank you, 69420 Aether. Coming through strong. So we've done La Senora. We've done Child. We have also done... Raiden Shogun. We are yet to do Beneath the Dragon Queller, Ejdaha, and also the other big dragon, the Maraking Tite. What is his name again? Storm Terror. Maraking Tite, Storm Terror. So we haven't got Maraking Tite, Zhongli. We are going to change the team now because obviously going into Geo Boss with Geo characters is not that great. Who are we going to be using today? Who do I not use enough? So last time we used Deluce. Mmm, oh, I, so <laughs> I have so many Animo and Geo characters leveled up to 90. Right, so I have been trying. You know who I haven't used in a long time? Hu Tao. I have not used Hu Tao in God knows how long now. It's been an extremely, extremely, very, 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 very long time. Since I last used Hu Tao. So, we'll go with that. And Hu Tao doesn't have burst. Kazaha doesn't have burst. You know what? Let's go and get our burst back. I wonder if Hu Tao even has the right artifacts. And this is coming from me 
who says, Hu Tao amongst Beidou, these two are like my favorite female characters in terms of one personality and two aesthetics. Gameplay wise, I'm not the biggest fan. Honestly speaking, I'm not the biggest fan. And the reason why is, I think you guys know already, but is that like Hu Tao is just charge attack spam. And that is not that interesting for me. Which is okay, like I know for a lot of other people that's fun, but for me, it's not that interesting. But when I see the big numbers, things change, right? Things change. So, let's go with this, boom. Do I get energy particle? Yes. Another one. Another one. Another one, please. Another one. Okay, nice. All right, we've got that. We've got that. Oh, I'm very worried that... Okay, no, we're good now. We're good. Okay, we've got everything. Here we go. Beneath the Dragon Quella. I need to make sure Hu Tao's HP is under 50% as well. In we go. I have to be careful here because my Zhongli, as you guys know, does have the power to heal. So, hmm. All right, we'll, we'll start with this. Now... How, how am I going to do this, actually? How, how am I going to do this? Am I meant to ult first with Hu Tao then? Alright, let me do this. And then this. And then this. Okay, and then this. Okay. Oh, I did not get the pyro infusion, but that's okay. Okay, 56k charge attacks. Not bad at all. Yo! Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay. All right. Zhongli's fully healed up. Okay. 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 I see you. I see you, Hu Tao. Remember, my Hu Tao is only talent level 666. And I also believe what well, this version of Acer Hut does have pyro resistance. I don't know if the first version ever adapts to that pyro resistance. Maybe it does. Oh, I vaporized there as well. So. Okay. We'll put this down as well. And then boom. Okay, look at this fat damage right here. 13Ks. Excellent. Now, there is a lot of pyro damage here. So, I'm going to get out of here. Boom. We'll put that down. 50K. Boom. We'll do this again. We'll, oh, we missed. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Get me out of here. And we're going straight back in. All right. So, Hu Tao... Yeah, it's as I felt. She's very strong. She does a lot of damage, but but her gameplay for me is just not very, very enticing. Like, I don't find it that interesting. All right, we'll put that down. We'll put that down. We'll do this as well. And then we'll do the... Oh, my God. I pressed the wrong thing, but, you know, it is what it is. Boom. 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 Okay. And that is Hu Tao gameplay. That is Hu Tao. That is Hu Tao gameplay. Wee! Okay, nice. And what are we gonna get from Asia Heart over here? Boom! We are gonna get ah uh, no Dream Solvent and not a great piece there. Right, let's finish off with Andreas and also let's finish off with you know I should have selected someone else. So I'm gonna go back to Aether here. Instead of having Kazaha, because I clearly don't know how to swell this. We'll go over to our boy Andreas, Dominator of Wolves, or as my wife calls him, Terminator of Wolves. And then we'll see how much damage can really be done here. Because our shield strength is going to be stronger here with Hu Tao now. And to top it off, we're also going to... You know what? Let me give you... <clears throat> you guys didn't see this. I don't have an R5 weapon. I don't have an R5 Staff of Homer. Shh. You guys didn't see that. But let's go and do that. And now we have double Geo Resonance. This is going to be nice. I do actually want to get these wolves as well. Hu Tao's worst enemy. Okay. Oh, did she just one shot them? <laughs> okay, well, as I was saying, Hu Tao's worst enemy. Right, let's get down there and let's get down to business. How quick is this going to be? 
Again, my Hu Tao's talent levels. These are my Hu Tao stats. 65 to 237. Her talent levels are... Oh, they're 886. Oh. When did I level her up? Oh, they're 886. Okay, cool. Not 666. 886. Right. Andreas, Dominator of Wolves. You are against two of my underrated or underappreciated characters. Aether and Huta. I mean, they're not underappreciated by the community. They're just underappreciated by me. Or at least Huta is very underappreciated by me. Right, we're going to put this down. Boom. Okay, you dodged it. That's so cool of you. That's so quirky. 69k! We've got another 69k. Get your ass back here, boy! Come back! Come back! And get hit. Boom! Oh, I missed. <clears throat> I feel like that happens every week. I I feel like I miss that every week. But I'm not going to miss this. Boom. Okay. Oh, okay. you know what? I got in a hit. I got in a hit. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. You guys might think I'm a meme. But that's all that matters. Watch this. Boom. 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 Okay. Okay. Nice. Clean. Clean. Okay, not a skill issue, guys. I am cracked. I am cracked. I just want you guys to know that I am indeed cracked. All right, boom. And then let's finish off with this. Boom, 160k. Oh, not bad at all. And my hoot tower again is not properly leveled up. You know what? Ah, uh, do I want to become a meta slave again? Guys, yesterday, a video you're going to see tomorrow... A video that you're gonna see tomorrow about Ayaka. I'm slowly becoming a meta slave. That's... Nah, that's not good enough. Three drops here, not bad. As you can see, I've got 51 of these now. I've got 60 of these. Spirit Locker of Boris. We didn't get a big chunk here, which is nice. But I am slowly becoming a meta slave because I've just tried the Hu Tao Vaporize. I've also just done yesterday the freeze team and i gotta say being a meta slave is quite fun having said that my mono geo unga bunga and the animo unga bunga team so which i normally use in spiral abyss are still very much enjoyable and i wouldn't really want to give them up for the world right what do i want to what do i want to do here uh, i want to increase my crit rate so I might as well bring in Ayaka. All right, we'll do that. And yeah, this is fine. This is fine. Do I have my Zhongli ult? Oh, I don't have my Zhongli ult. What a shame. Well, if I put this down here, am I five heading this? Oh, please break. Yes. Okay. 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 I'm actually five heading this. Is my Geo construct still there? Actually, maybe not. Okay, boom. Okay, boom. I'm gaming, I'm gaming, I'm gaming. I've gamed. Wow. I'm so good at this game. Did you see that, guys? I'm so good at this game. Well, that's Duvalin for you. And that is the end of Genshin Monday. I think I got every single boss there. We end off with the weakest drop of them all. We have 36 of Duvalin's plume because this is used for Jean, it's used for Bennett, and it's used for Deluce. It's used for the most important characters from Mondstadt. And we got 48 of Duvalin's side. But there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. That is my Aether Showcase. Once again, 69420 Geo Traveler. It can be Lumine, it can be Aether. Just take up your characters' levels up and give them some love, and they're going to do some big Mara King Tite damage, some big PP damage. And you love to freaking see an Ayaka video coming out tomorrow or the day after. I tried Ayaka in the Abyss with a proper team for her. And oh my god, it actually blew my mind. We have also tested out a bit of Hu Tao again. We're probably going to max out Hu Tao at some point in the future. And really, really, really try and maximize her. Because I do have an R5 Homer, which I am using on Zhongli right now. Because Zhongli is my king. And of course, I mean, you know, Hu Tao is like... First, joint first, if not second favorite female character in the game. I should really treat her like it. But yes, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.